The uh, mecca, really, when it comes to morning shows, morning news, daytime legends, and it is continued to be a first of its kind with a Peabody Award. I saw it yesterday while Incredible. I was getting ready. So we're very excited for the whole team, really honoring the four hours. But what I didn't know, I think I've been living under a rock in my five years here in Atlanta, it all started, the Peabody Award, at UGA. Yes. Of course. I, I was what? looking at it, and I was so confused. I'm like, I had no idea that Georgia gave birth to such a prestigious honor. Back in 1940 with the dawn of, well, not the dawn of radio, but to yeah. honor radio achievements. So you're looking at um, a little um, Marcy Carsey, if you remember that oh, name. Yeah. She was the producer of Cosby Show and Roseanne. And she did a lecture just last week at UGA. The Peabody Awards are still based in Athens, so we're so excited that. Yes, that UGA, that local tie. What a connection. Yeah. So, just last year, the Today Show celebrated 70 years of broadcasting. So, let's take a look at how much it means to our current two beautiful female hosts, Hoda and Savannah. Barbara Walters here this morning. Then, someone named Barbara Walters came along. <laughs> Get your own cup of coffee. And said, no, I want a seat at the table. Good morning. Well, good morning, Barbara. Barbara Walters, the Jane Paulies, the Katies, the Merediths, they blew the doors open. And then me and Savannah just strolled through. We're like, hey, thanks. From Studio One. And today, it's two female anchors. Yes. Glad to have him. Rest in power, it. Barbara Walters. You paved the way, yes, she as did. we all know. Um, okay, so we had at Smart Lady Finance tag us on Instagram. Thank you so much. With this spring break of service, her kids are getting involved in all kinds of ways, writing cards for veterans, giving back to animal shelters. If you can see here, this is a sandwich project where they're they're making little sammies. So let's take a look at all the things they're doing, even lemonade for Lifeline. Uh, helping animals in need. You guys, what an incredible way if you're still looking for things to do with the kids who are on spring break. Not just entertain them, how about teach them compassion and Ways to give of back. Amen. I love that idea, yes. Even just to take an hour a day to be like, hey, what's your project today? Let's yeah, get back. That's right. Thank you, Smart, Smart Lady, Lady Finance. Finance. Uh, great, Greater Atlanta Christian, thank you so oh, much for sharing Jim's this. Oh, Oh, love. Yes. Their early childhood village celebrated with a fairy tale day last week, and I thought it was the cutest costumes. So, so cute. And Brave's home opener. Woo! We are so excited. Yes. Chop on, baby. Chop it on. Thank you, Trent. And guys, thank you for tuning in on this fabulous Thursday. Enjoy the day. I'm going to see you right back here tomorrow. Have a great one.